thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to show you how to use Tenable Identity Exposure to remediate accounts with possible empty password. In today's session, we will show you three key methods that you can use for the remediation. First, we'll show you the Active Directory GUI, and then we'll show you how to use the PowerShell from the command line. And then lastly, we'll show you how to use the export feature coupled by a basic PowerShell script to do mass remediation of this uh, misconfiguration in your Active Directory environment. So let's just jump to the platform. So here what we're talking about is account with possible empty password. And if we look at the vulnerability details, we can see that the password not required attribute is set on the user account control. So now let's go look at some of the deviant objects that are impacted by this vulnerability. So we can see here we have King Cardona. So the first one we're going to remediate is King Cardona. And if we go over and look at the recommendations tab, it's going to tell us we can do this by setting the user account control through the GUI, or we could use PowerShell as well. So let's start with the GUI. So let's open up Active Directory Users and Computers. And now we find King Cardona. And now we're going to the attribute editor and we're going to go to the user account control attribute inside of here. And if we look at it, it is set to 544, which is password not required. A normal user should be 512. So let's go ahead and set this to 512. And now you can see that we've removed that from. Now let's go back in and look at how we would do this, uh, see in tenable identity exposure. So as you can see, King Cardona has been remediated from that vulnerability perspective. But most admins do not do onesies, twosies in regards to that. But now let's go and show you how you can use PowerShell to remediate it as well. So let's go and open up PowerShell. And again, we're going to do one account here, and then I'll show you mass remediation as well. So what I want to do is use the set-80 set user with password not required equals false. And we're going to use Jeb Gambardella as our example here. And then if we remediate it, we can go in and see that Jeb is also no longer part of this. The last thing that we want to do is really do that from a onesie twosie fashion. We want to remediate them all because no one should have that value set. So let's go in and do this through the export feature using tenable identity exposure. So the first thing I would do is select all pages. And then once I select all pages, I'll have all my objects selected. And now I'm going to do export all feature. And then we're going to go out and export this to a CSV. We export it to a CSV. And now I want to do mass remediation. I don't want to do it in a onesie twosie fashion. So I'm going to open up a PowerShell script. And what I'm doing first is taking that CSV file and reformatting it to a true CSV. Terrible identity exposure, when it does the export, uses a semicolon separated value. So we have to read format this to a CSV. So that's the first part of the script. The next part of the script is I'm basically just taking the file and then I'm doing a for each and I'm setting that account control on the identity and then calling the path variable and then setting that password not required to false. So let's go ahead and run this in our environment. And as you can see, we have a couple errors, errors here and that's okay because now we know that these users do not meet the password length requirement or complexity in our environment. So we would have to go in and manually fix these users by resetting their password in their environment. Most likely, these users do truly have a blank password in your organization. So we would have to manually fix that. So let's go back in and look at what Tenable Identity Exposure sees now from a remediation perspective. And you can see that these three accounts were not remediated because we do not meet those password requirements. Thanks for watching.